rolling Body you my feet When I woke up that morning With no one by my side I thought for a moment Like a flash before my eyes I'm dreaming I'm in the rock vault. I am in the rock vault. I'm not dreaming again. I'm really in this show. My name's Paul Shortino, and I was in a band called Rough Cut and Quiet Riot, and also did some things in King Cobra and done a lot of solo stuff. I started out with a song that actually got Rough Cut signed to Warner Brothers. I'm dreaming again. Anyways, I'm dreaming all the time, you know. Uh, life is just but a dream, and you can make them come true. I've been in the music business probably about... 40 years of my life. I've been friends with Howard Lees for a long time. We met a long time ago and we've been good buddies ever since. Uh, Phil Susan, I used to have a jam night in Los Angeles every Sunday night and actually Government Mule was formed there. Anybody who was anybody came in and jammed. I've known Robin McCauley, the singer from MSG, for a long time. I met him when they did their playback party at the record plant back in the 80s. Todd Kearns, who comes in, who's with Slash. He's an amazing uh, singer and front guy. Sean Coey, who sings with DeWeasel Zappa, and also Meatloaf, has an incredible range and is a powerhouse for such a little, she's like a little Ronnie Dio. I mean, she's just, she's just a little itty bitty thing with just big voice. Megan Ruger, who uh, is a singer from The Voice TV show, and another great singer. It's really nice to see young, up-and-coming singers who really appreciate rock and roll, the rawness of it. Blas Elias on drums, Michael T. Ross on the keys, uh, Rowan Robertson, uh, go, we go back, way back when he was in Dio. I lived with Ronnie James Dio. He helped uh, prom uh, actually produce Rough Cut. Got to meet a lot of rock stars that I probably never would have ever met if it wasn't for Ronnie. Watched the whole forming of uh, Dio with Vivian Campbell, Vinnie Ap uh, Apice, Jimmy Bain. Met Glenn Hughes there. I I've just met David Coverdale and all these people that I actually saw on the other side of uh, the spectrum being a fan. Rating the Rock Vault, the classic history of rock and roll is like a history lesson for young people uh, and for me kind of going down memory lane for uh, older people that lived it. It's, it's, it's really kind of an awesome thing. And rip it up, tear it out, because that's what rating the rock vault is all about.